lighting our homes uses a lot of energy, money and fossil fuels. There are a lot of things that we can do in the home to help us to save money and to save energy. But first it's important to know how much energy we use over the period of a month so that we can see what we're saving. Depending on their type of dwelling, there are many forms of energy that people use. Most people will use gas and electricity, but others will use other forms of energy, wood, oil or coal. Record the amount of energy you use over the period of a month and enter that onto the website. Now I'm going to show you how to read your gas and electricity meter. Some meters are in very strange places. Don't worry if you can't find it. They might be under the stairs or outside or in some other strange place. So don't be embarrassed if you don't. Just hunt around your home. Don't worry about the onset of winter as the database accounts for the changes of temperature and it means that your measurements won't be skewed. Example of how to read a dial meter. Dial meters have a row of clock-like dials which move between the numbers 0 and 9. When reading your dial meter, always remember that dials next to each other rotate in opposite directions. Ignore the dial marked 1 over 10, as it is only used for testing. Read the other five dials from left to right. Always write down the number which the pointer has just passed. This is not necessarily the nearest number to the pointer. If the pointer is anywhere between, say, 4 and 5, write down 4. If the pointer is directly over the figure, say 5, write down that figure and underline it, 5. The meter reading example shown will be 4, 5, 9, 2, 8. This reading now needs adjusting to remove small variations in the pointer positions. Look at the figure underlined, 5. If this number is followed by a 9, reduce the underlined figure by 1. Digital meters. Read the numbers from left to right, including all zeros, but ignoring the red number or numbers, or any number or numbers after a decimal point. The reading on this example is 9, 4, 6, 9, 4. How often should we measure? Read your meters on the date of each meeting, which are also known as milestones, throughout the whole programme. Ways to remember. Maybe set yourself a reminder on your calendar or outlook. Maybe get your friends or family involved. You could also write a note on your fridge on a notice board. You are now ready to input your measurements into the EcoTeams website. Enter your electricity measurements, enter the date that you took the meter reading. Then enter your meter reading and the unit of measurement, which will be in kilowatt hours. Click Add. Remember to just type in the reading. Don't calculate the amount you used. The website will do this for you. Do the same for your gas measurements. Enter the date that you took the meter reading. Then enter your meter reading and the unit of measurement. Click Add.